very excited to be the head coach of the Manly Seagulls. Manly's got a proud history, so to get the opportunity to coach the team in 2023 and beyond is, uh, you know, fantastic for myself. Like I said, I'm really humbled and honoured to be the head coach and look forward to, um, you know, what we can do over the next couple of seasons. Well, I've been a, a coach for 16 seasons and I've had some uh, really successful periods of time and, and some challenges as well. And, um, you know, one of the things I'm really proud of is, is the last 16 months, um, you know, going to a different country, a different sport and being able to have some success in a different code. Um, certainly rounded me as a coach. I think, you know, the success that I saw early at South Sydney as a head coach and then um, in my final season at Brisbane, some of the challenges that were presented to me, I feel as though I've got a really vast array of experiences. And um, I suppose you know, having coached for a long period of time, I know that um, you know, some seasons are more challenging than others, but I you know, bring great experience to the position. and. Um, yeah, really looking forward with, with great optimism what we can do over the next couple of seasons. What attracted me to Manly was, um, you know, the proud history of the club, I think. Um, historically, Manly have great success, um, you know, having worked with guys like Tom Trebojevic, Jack Trebojevic and Daly Cherry Evans in the past, I think, um, you know, those relationships, the potential and the talent that I see in the current squad, um, you know, I see that there's an opportunity to, to build and not just build, but um, it brings some success to the Manly team. Yeah, there's great potential in the squad for 2023 and some of the players, I suppose emerging players that I'm really looking forward to working with closely include Tolu Kola, Amole Olakuatu, and also Josh Schuster. I think those guys have got great potential, um, but also guys like Tenny Alapaseka, um, you know, Brad Parker I've worked with in the past. So I'm a big, uh, I have a great admiration of, of Ruben Garrick. I think he can continue to improve, you know, going forward. So. Um, it's probably unfair to um, you know, name just a couple, but you know, there's great depth in, in the squad. And I think that um, you know, if we work hard, you know, we connect and, and bring that togetherness to the group, um, along with, um, I suppose, unlocking some of the potential and some of the younger players, then um, you know, we can continue to improve you know, during the 2023 season. Yeah, I've been able to um, you know, bring some, some assistant coaches in with great experience, Shane Flanagan, He's a premiership winning head coach, the Cronulla Sharks team. Um, you know, Flano brings a great deal of experience. He's had really positive seasons. He's had some challenging seasons as a head coach. And I think, um, you know, as someone sitting beside you who has been in your shoes and sat in your seat, they come with empathy and have a greater understanding of the challenges that are presented day to day and week to week. Jimmy Demick has been at a number of clubs. Obviously, Jimmy was an elite player, club Churchill medalist. Uh, I think he's a real leader in his community and I feel as though uh, the expertise and experience that Jimmy brings to our forward pack, which is what he'll be looking after, um, will help some of our younger players with potential, uh, achieve their potential. Stephen Hales has had a um, relationship with a number of the younger players um, as a coach at all levels. And again, um, he has, he's got a great understanding of the players who have developed in our pathways. And there's a number of players who have been identified early and been brought through you know, the recruitment retention of some of the younger players in the group, um, something that we want to maintain and continue, but also give the local players in our community an opportunity to wear the Manly jersey. And, and Stephen Hales has got a great appreciation for that. So those three guys in particular uh, fill the gaps in some regard to um, myself as a head coach. So we feel as though we've established um, and can establish a strong working relationship. And um, I think that the guys um, can represent Manly in uh, in the manner that you know, our members, our support, supporters, and corporate partners would uh, would like us like us to do. There's great potential and great talent in our squad, and it's about unlocking that and allowing the players' uh, weapons to shine. Now, um, Shane Flanagan is going to look after our attack, so you know from that perspective, that'll be built upon over the pre-season. But there's one thing that's non-negotiable: and it's those effort areas of the game, like I said before. Um, you know, I've always been biased towards the things that don't take skill or talent and that's um, you know, where we want to try and drive the playing group and we're trying to prove the, the, the playing group in, in those areas there. And, um, that'll take some time, you know, that takes time, it takes um, a lot of energy, um, you know, an investment from the players to want to get better. But um, you know, one thing I can say, we'll have a, a really considered pre-season, a really challenging pre-season. But um, we'll be well prepared, and, and um, you know, we expect to, um, you know, to show some improvement as the preseason. I know what uh, what the group can do, and it's just about unlocking that, that potential, but really making the guys accountable to the other parts of the game. The players start on November the fourteenth. Um, we have a six-week pre 
uh, Christmas book, which uh, has been very well planned, and, and now it's about executing that plan and, and the players coming and wanting to get better every single day. Um, Shane Flanagan, Jimmy Dimmick, and Stephen Hales will run the first um, you know, two weeks of our pre-season program. We have a lot of our younger players and emerging players and some trainer trollers from our um, Pathways programs training in those first two weeks. I'll come back at the start of week three. We get some more senior players coming back in from that period of time on. So we'll get a breakdown over Christmas and then we start again on January the 3rd. So and we get another uh, really big build up until our first trial game in uh, you know in the, in the beginning of February. So um, a lot of planning has gone into this and um, you know, we can't wait for the guys to get started on the 14th and then we get some senior players back as well um, as we um, you know, make our way through the pre-season.